So this is Dr. Paul. I want to share this video about adenosin. So let us see a few things about adenosin converting SVT. If you see here, you will see a beautiful SVT. And once adenosin was administered here, it changed into a sinus rhythm. So an SVT is converted into a sinus rhythm here after the administration of adenosine. So let me tell you a few important things about adenosine. The adenosine interacts with adenosine 1 receptors on the surface of heart cells. And the resulting effects include slowing of the sinus rate and an increase in atrioventricular node conduction delay. So basically it is slowing the sinus rate and also increasing the delay in the AV node. So these actions, they interrupt the reentrant circuit of tachycardias. For example, many times you need atrioventricular node for reentry, and that is the most common cause for SVT. So you are blocking it using adenosine. That is how you are curing SVT. While adenosine is effective in terminating SVT associated with AV node entry, AV reentry tachycardia associated with an accessory pathway, sinus node reentry, and automatic atrial tachycardia. It is not effective for atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, atrial tachycardia, or ventricular fibril uh, tachycardia that is not caused by a reentry at the AV node. So remember that. Only things that uh, need reentry at the AV node are controlled. Atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, atrial tachycardia, ventricular tachycardia, they do not go through the reentry at the AV node. That is why adenosine is not effective. Adenosine is the drug of choice for acute medical cardioversion of SVT, unresponsive to vagal maneuvers. But remember, when children with Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, Adenosine administration for SVT can cause atrial fibrillation with progression to ventricular fibrillation. So whenever you suspect WPW syndrome, you should always be ready with emergency resuscitation equipment and even a pediatric cardiologist. Okay, So be careful when you suspect WPW syndrome not to give adenosine in a hurry because it will convert into atrial fibrillation and ventricular fibrillation. Also, adenosine is contraindicated in patients with pre-existing second or third degree heart block or sinus node disease. And the other points are the dose. The initial dose of adenosine for SVT is 0.1 mg per kg rapid IV push. And immediately give 5 ml saline flush. This promotes drug entry into systemic circulation. The half-life of adenosine is only 10 seconds. That is why you should give it um, through an intravenous line as close to the heart as possible. And uh, if you give it slowly or if you do not do saline flush, the drug may not reach the heart. So use two syringes. But take one, one, fill one syringe with adenosine, one fill a syringe with normal saline flush and get ready. First give adenosine and then immediately flush it with normal saline. And the most common side effects are flushing, chest discomfort, nausea, and headache. It can also cause bradycardia and heart block. So always tell patients because bradycardia can cause a lot of discomfort to many patients. So always inform them, sir, you may, your heart might decrease, your heart rate might decrease now after this injection. It may cause you some discomfort, but hang on, it's only a side effect of adenosine. And some people are um, uncomfortable with flushing. Tell them that this medication cause, can cause flushing. So I wanted to show the CKG that uh, SVT converting into normal sinus rhythm with the administration of adenosine and uh, to describe some of the common uh, most important points about uh, this medication.